Don't rock the jukebox. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast, Sippin' the Dry. Brought to you by Roll Fly Rod. I'm the host, Sean. Today with me, as always, I got my boy, Seth. And Kyle. What What's up, happening? Kyle? How, How we you doing? doing? Good, good, good. Good. Uh, short episode today, boys, because we got some work to do, but we need to go over something that we have never gone over yet. Vices. I'm surprised we haven't we haven't really tackled much but of this we area. Haven't, I was looking through our archive. We have no videos right. on anything fly tying. With the cold weather, we gotta we gotta hit That's it. Right. I, mean, I mean, fly tying is definitely one of those things that I mean, it's definitely documented a lot in the sense of people tying flies. That's what we're known for. Is fly a ton ties. of material out there too. Oh yeah. Yep. That's not supposed to be a joke. <laughs> talking about content, fly tying wise. <laughs> really, there really is. Yeah, there's a ton out there. Um, vices. I know you tie Seth. Kyle, you tie as well. You guys have been trying to teach me these big meaty claws. Yep. You know, we'll get there. They're more nimble than he likes to let mm-hmm. on. Don't lie to me. <laughs> All right. So when it comes to vices, I know you've got Peak, Renzetti, Regal, Sanofo. What are some other brands? Uh, so, I mean, you hit all the major ones. Mm-hmm. I'd say you still got, still you know, got Eagle Dynaking. Claw, Dyna King. There's a couple other... Uh, I'd say smaller Orvis still makes those little beginner kits. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they have a nicer like. Because they had spice, they, back in the day they had the Encounter, and now they have the Orvis fly tying kit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do they have another one like a Premier or I is don't that? I think so. I that, think it's more so just like that intro kit because they know that you're gonna go to. You're gonna branch out. You're yeah. gonna branch out. They I can, mean, their bread and butter is gonna be. More so the rod side of things, but if they can get you to like dip your toe into it. Once you dip your toe, mm-hmm. you're basically going to slide right into full-on tire. Full-on tire, you know what happens <laughs> when you turn into a full-on tire? Full-on fisher. Full on, that, there hey, you go. It's, is this a case? Fly tying a gateway drug? Whoa. Yes. To fly fishing? I mean, it's a whole other... It, so like, I'd say there's two sides of fly fishing. There's the fishing side of it, and then there's the fly tying side of it. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Like half the lures are meant to catch fishermen, not actually Oh, absolutely. Like you walk around those fly boxes at any shop, there's going to be those, you know... Big old gongas and really intricate ties and super, super that. nice setups that are going to cost you know ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars. It's like, oh, yeah, and, and that's not, a single fly, and it's not cheaper to make that, it yourself either. It's no, a really single fly. fly. That is, unless yeah. your output is up there. I mean, if you're, super put, fun if you're putting make. out a you know a couple flies every single day, yeah, eventually I think you're just going to you know save yeah, you yourself some money. Start picking it up because it's expensive to buy flies you know at a fly so, shop at a fly shop and there's, there's really different, different can get expensive quick. there's different Absolutely. websites out there like uh um jd stockard is a really good sure. one um for fly tying material I, yeah yeah bobby arnold is always telling me i can't remember he's gonna get so mad when he watches i can't remember the name of the guy that he talks about but you can buy flies for bulk decently mm-hmm. priced now what's the quality on those if you're buying those online uh, it just depends on the individual tire yeah. From the company? I will say there's going to be different. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And between manufactured flies and, like, individual tires, you're going to see a different grade. There's going to be a huge difference. True. Um, And even within that, I mean, it depends on what you want to fish. I've thrown some gnarly-looking flies that shouldn't have caught anything. They caught plenty of fish. Mm -hmm. I've thrown pristine flies in the right spot at the right time and got nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, it's it's more so about the time and just the hobby of doing it, I think, than it is, don't get me wrong, catching a fish on something you tied, super satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're on Um, twist, too. Yeah. Exactly. You're going to, like, the same way as everyone gets into it, I think it's, you know, you learn the basics. It's, you know, woolly bugger. Pheasant tail, hare's ear. Hold on, we'll get to that. The Adams. <laughs> so when you're looking for, you're gonna go buy a vice. You want to start tying. What, what are we? What are we? Is it a price game? Are we going for the? You know, I you don't, don't want to get the cheapest, but is there like? I'd say a I brand? mean, you can get everything that you need in a like a let's for example like a Renzetti Traveler. Yeah. That is like we we sell the most a out of those of vices those. compared you to can on, tie on Amazon. Everything you'd want to on it. It's. The jaws may wear down over time, but that's anything you use in fishing. It's, yeah, it'll wear yeah, down. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, they make time. replacement parts Anything's for it, which yep. is nice. So, so it's like, the, yeah, if I really ever need to replace the jaws, I can. And it's one screw, super easy. Not hard. Best bang for your buck. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'd say around anywhere from like 150 to three hundred dollars, you can get yourself one vice that you'll never have to replace. And then you look at Lynn with the like complete tying, fly tying toolkit. Tool oh, that yes. comes it's with what, fif- it's fifteen pieces. Uncle has a really yeah. solid 
yeah. toolkit. Um, and Zeti makes really nice tools. So. Yeah. Yes, yes, they do. And tools are out there. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. Dr. Like, Slick. Most of the manufacturers of hit that pretty well with, you know, just having everything you need in one little case. Ready to go. Kind of, yeah, exactly. e easy to move. Yeah. Um, 100%. So types of vices. I know you have rotary and, and stationary. Right. Real so. quickly, what... What would be an, an advantage or a disadvantage to each? So the stationaries are kind of as the name gives off. They're the <sighs> most bare essential basic. They hold a hook for you. They get the job done, which more often than not, it's all you needed to do. Yeah. I can do everything around that hook to make the fly I need it to be. But with a rotary, it takes out some of the hassle of just a stationary hook. Okay. So when it comes to, you know, like a bobbin hanger, or doing doing more intricate ties, it's being able to see all sides of the hook so I know I'm getting it. Now it also depends on how particular do you really want to get with your fly. Some guys are going to be super, You want to be pretty particular. Yeah. It depends. Uh, everyone's different. That's true. So, I, I mean, patience level. Patience and level and what you're tying. And I mean, I know there are going to be guys yeah. that are like, oh, you need to have 12 wraps exactly. <laughs> they need to line up from left to right perfectly even yep. like this is going to lay one exact way i feel like it's that's how they're unless go. it's a little bunchy in one area you and, know? and you know it's i'll <laughs> like you said again everyone's icky different. flies catch fish icky flies that's, catch fish that's right so yeah. um all right your first few won't come out pretty they never they do. never do and oh it's fine i have a, i have one in the office right now <laughs> yeah don't talk about it i can't wait to throw it i can't <sighs> it, wait it last. it's gonna be terrible all right so on top of your rotary or your stationary you have a pedestal or clamp and i assume that is just that either it sits on the table or it's attached to the table yeah exactly. you either get a c clamp or you get a full-on metal base um i will say with the Bases, it's a little bit, now. I mean, they can be heavy, but that's the point of the base, yeah. and especially with some ties, like, I'm going to crank down. I've I've toppled a couple of vices in my time. Yeah, really? you don't want that, oh, you don't yeah, want that you, thing to move. move yeah. a little too hard, a little too... Nice flat base, it's super quick. heavy. Absolutely. True. Yeah. You put well, some elbow keep, grease in the really, you know, that center it, gravity. So. Now, C-clamps are always going to be the cheaper option. I thought those would be better, but they well, don't move. So, uh, it depends on... Well, one, it depends on the table you're screwing it into. Okay, yeah. So, Obviously. it's all fun and games until you put it in the white. It's nice, you know, oh my God. dining room table. Teeth marks in the dining room table. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> if you got, like, a workbench or something like that, absolutely. Yeah. Works great. Um, plus, it's nice because it's a little bit closer to you, so you can just kind of work right here. Right right here. You know, I right will say, but, I mean, being able to put your elbows up and just get on the vice it works pretty nice yeah so. so you don't have to work literally three inches away from no, it it's all about comfort you know, and i mean is your guy, let's be real i was gonna I say do. let's be real we're we, we work in an older sport i would say <laughs> you gotta be a little closer to see the fine <laughs> details yeah, yeah. gotta yeah. hear the clientele we just yeah. call that appreciating it closer though uh -huh. i think that's what greg would say we just appreciate things a little closer yeah um <sighs> if i'm not mistaken yes. streamer bases versus saltwater bases saltwater gonna be a little bit larger they're more often than not a little bit chunkier yeah. a little bit heftier so like Dyna King bases all their vices come with insanely heavy like bases and i like a good heavy base it and that's feels gonna hold, sturdy that's gonna hold a larger uh, hook too right it'll yeah it'll yeah. help you use bigger threads bigger hooks because i mean if you're really tying up like big musky flies and really big patterns yeah. then you're gonna want to be able to kind of crank down and really get those feathers in there else it's just gonna blow apart on you and, i mean you're gonna wrap wrap, to wrap, wrap 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 exactly so they have their advantages to both sides but so, i mean I'd say for the general public that's going to be doing bass bugs, trout flies, you know, Poppers, some general streamers. saltwater things. Like, yeah, if you start getting into really big, beefy stuff, you're going to want something a little bit more detailed mm -hmm. for that. But I'd say, generally speaking, you're going to be able to tie anything and everything on a traveler. So. True. True, true, true. Um, okay, so when you're, we're talking about tying, so what flies, you kind of dipped into this earlier, so I said, hold on. Mm. What flies are the Eager. best flies for people just starting out to tide like do, i what? gotcha so i mean it's going to be more so specific to what you're fishing what you're for fishing is for. like that main limiter i would say okay now that being said a lot like we know a lot of flies will transfer over from one species to another so like i can throw Easy. certain flies for everything so yep. woolly buggers they be gone you know. yeah. <laughs> Theoretically, yes, but yep. what I want to learn how to tie that right away? No, you're bait probably overstepping. But I mean, like woolly buggers, baitfish pattern, leech pattern, mm -hmm. um, zonker strips, just learning how to, you know, 
different ways of wrapping and laying in a rabbit strip. I mean, you can probably do three or four different ones and get five patterns. It's, right. Yeah. Yeah. So the versatility, I would say, materials is going to be kind of that first thing you start getting used to um, yeah. and learning, like, oh, I can tie it with this. Let me see if I can do it with this instead. A little, little, little shock and a little zap in the light there. Yep. I'll have to look at that later. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, so I'd say, you know, keep it simple. Don't it try simple. to don't try to jump into like super intricate like uh, gongas or game changers. Yeah, because you know. you'll get disappointed and it ain't gonna you, turn out. And I mean, there's gonna be really detailed and nice breakdowns for flies online. So I mean, if you're following along and I mean, everyone knows their kind of own limits and what yeah. they're capable. You know what of level doing. you are. Exactly. Absolutely. It's like you know what you can do and what you can't. So if, a shop dog. if you want to you know, <laughs> jump dog, in and really get the toes wet. I'm not going to say you can't, but I would say no. learning like a woolly bugger and just kind of getting the order of operations and threading a hook yeah. and mm-hmm. kind of learning where you're at. Because more often than not, you're going to kind of, on those first two or three flies, just hit that tip of that hook with that thread, and it's just going to go tink mm. yep. every time. Yep. Then your thread goes You'll figure it out early, so. How sharp that thing is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'd say about like the second or third one of you popping it off. Mm. And you're only like halfway through that first fly, you're gonna be like, "This is the worst thing I've ever picked mm-hmm. up in my life." But is everyone does it? And you'll just buy right from the manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> then you come back to me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, I don't want to get too deep into that because I want us to do actual uh, individual ones on different vices, and I also don't want to take time away from us talking about the 2024 Greater Cincinnati Fly Fishing Show yep. this weekend. This weekend, this down weekend. in oh, Loveland. Damn, that is this weekend. It is. Yep. We will be there. I'll be there. You'll be there. And Seth, you will be there. Yep. I should be there. This video will be up, so hopefully people know about it. I don't think Daisy's coming, though. don't think Daisy will be there. Daisy, you coming with us? No. She said. <laughs> She's waiting. She said, yeah, I'll probably be sleeping in. <laughs> so what do we uh, What do we got? It's it's this weekend, February, what, what is the weekend? Third? The third. Yeah. It's a pretty cool event. I mean, you've got over the course from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, when the gates open, um, you've got thousands of people cycling in and out. Some people stay the entire time. Some right. people will come in for an oh, yeah. hour, get some material. A lot of cool tires there. A lot of cool presentations Absolutely. going on. Um, oh, yeah. so, and then we're going to bring out some closeout, you know, um, gear and stuff. So, you know, okay. whatever you're we'll looking for, really. Absolutely bring in some swag. Y'all yeah. want to pick up a shirt? You can Shirts, out koozies. There. We're, yeah. we're just going to have, you know, we're going to have some fun talking to people. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's setup. what this is. I'm sorry, this is actually my first time going to this. Yeah. So, this is. You're not, you're uh, not used to the... No, I've been here for a couple of years, but I haven't uh, I haven't had the pleasure to go. So oh, That's I'm, cool. Oh, it's great. There's they food. Gotta, there's going to be food and beer. Food, 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 drink, food. beer. Yeah. Nine to around. four. We're going to be there all day. I'm going to get hungry. Yeah. Oh, you'll have custom rod builders. You'll have guys doing fly demos. There's a casting pond. Mm-hmm. I want to say there's going to be like really? 75 vendors this year. Wow. Yeah. So um, you can buy a rod and go test it in the in the pond? Can you test new rods there? Is there going to be new rods? Maybe? There's going to be a couple, couple. of rods. I know uh, Orvis is going to be there. Orvis is um, going to be there. Let's go. What about Winston? Do you think Winston will be there? Maybe? I, didn't, I don't know if I saw them I last year. Cause I maybe think, it's too far. For what them. is it? Bob in the Hood's also going to be going on yeah, up in yeah. Michigan. So yeah. you'll, you'll probably get a little split. Between yeah. the two, I think our Scott rep will be up there. Yeah, that's usually what he does. Yeah, because he usually does a fly demo, so it'll be up. Oh yeah, yeah. Phil, Phil Cook, or yeah. fly he's a Killer previous tire. guest here on Sipping the Drive. Yeah. He's, he's been brought up. Like, um, I think they're every doing time. a they're doing a couple raffles. That's too. my next question. I heard we yeah. doing some raffles. In my so and stuff. looking on this pamphlet here, um, they are offering a Air Two, uh, nine foot six weight. Um, you, it two? comes with a Guru oh, S Seven Plus and a Amplitude Infinity fly line made by SA. Um, retail is going for sixteen hundred bucks. Good all yeah, purpose absolutely. Rod. So tickets, really good you can get you can get a rod. ticket for what are, uh, what twenty dollars. Oh, 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 oh. And but there's only one hundred and twenty of them. And there's only one hundred twenty of them. Get so there soon, people. That's you not that. bad. Early I don't know if there's better. a cap on how many tickets you can buy, but throwing a nice hundred bucks at the that's, that's what I that's what I was like, thinking earlier. I was just like, ooh, chances are pretty get five good. or six tickets. And then the cheaper side, they've got a fish pond pro wading lumbar belt. With a pack and a net and a water bottle holder, uh, retail for that's five hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, also, that's ten dollars tickets, and a hundred of those will be sold. So that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I love fish pond packs. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Might have to <laughs> might have to throw my name in that one. Yeah. I don't know. They both of them. I'm trying to think of what else was there. They had there was one booth last year with guys that were doing laser engravings on fly boxes that were really cool. Very real. unique stuff. Oh my god! So maybe yeah. I should bring a reel. 
not that detailed. So, oh, I mean, uh, it was detailed, but, like, it was very specific to, like, the box square, just because it was super easy to lay down there. Sure. I think if you took a reel, it'd be a little, little bit harder. Plus, they're already anodized. And Good call. Mm-hmm. You'd want to do call. that before. Maybe they'll have stuff there I can get engraved. Yeah, yeah. no, no, they will. A nice sip in the dry fly box, maybe. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. The little dry fly. They had, like, the cool ones that have, like, the door latches. Like that. that you I can... like it, the magnet on the inside. The Those magnet. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Umqua makes that, don't they? Yeah, fish That's, do. fish That's solid. Rules. Yeah. All right, boys. Well, I mean, this Saturday. If I'm missing anything awesome. else about that show, they'll have boats, kayaks. This is the 35th year, right? Yes. Oh, sorry, that was the pamphlet that I was reading it earlier. It says it right there on the 35th. Front. Uh, 35th. That is 35th. I'm a good reader. <laughs> <laughs> well, down at the Oasis Conference Center. Oasis Conference Center, Loveland, Ohio. Yep. Yes. Um, Buckeye United Fly Fishers. Where can you find information on this if you wanted to look it up? Uh, so, yeah, Buckeye United has a, they got a website, so BuckeyeUnitedFlyFishers.com. You can buy okay. tickets um, on there. You can buy tickets online and tickets are being sold at the door. Yeah. I have Lucas, so. Like $10 a person, kids under 12 get in free. Yes. So, uh, scouts in uniform are also free. What about parking? Far, uh, park free. Free. Is there, I mean, They're just giving things away. Yes. Yeah, so buy your own ten dollars hot in. dog there. And There's gonna be a bunch of us. We're gonna be out there. Some fish and stuff. Drink a beer. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Come see us for yeah. a koozie. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little chilly, I think, this weekend too. So come in and get out of the cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come hang out with us. Absolutely. I, yeah, I gotta see what other uh, raffles there may be going on. I know. There might yeah, be it's always it was cool to walk around. I like throw my hat in the ring. Absolutely. You're pretty lucky too. So. <laughs> hey, All right. Yeah, uh, well, only one of us at this table hasn't won a gun yet. That's true, and that would be me. But I don't Yo, know hey, next year. That's true. <laughs> There's always next year. <sighs> All right, boys. Well, this has been fantastic for me. I learned actually a lot more <laughs> about vices than I thought I would. So thank you both for yeah, vices are fun. hooking me up with that knowledge. Of course. Absolutely. Hey, you know what? Next time you want to get back up on the uh, on a horse and <laughs> bust out one of our <laughs> man cotton candy woolly buggers. Oh, yeah, they're great. God, they're so ugly, and yeah. I love them. All right, everybody. Fishy. Thanks for joining Fishy. in. Fishy. <laughs> been sipping the dry remember to like comment follow subscribe all that stuff everybody has to do follow us on the river we'll teach you something every time we can thanks for hanging out with us that's good uh i'll probably just pull one from the video